Let's get more on this now with Eric Barron. He's the president of Penn State University and joins us live. Uh, president Barron, good morning to you. Uh, good morning. Thank, thank you for having me. Uh, I, just, I just wish it was under better circumstances. No one should have to deal with this kind of tragedy. I, no I family should. I think we all agree on that. And when you hear what we just heard, and when you read the description of what happened to this young man over a period of 12 plus hours, it, it literally makes you sick to your stomach. And my question is, is this a wake up call for Penn State University? Are you willing to acknowledge, sir, that whatever the university was doing to govern this fraternity and all fraternities, it hasn't been enough? So, I, I, I would say this is very clearly a national problem. We've had tens of deaths across the nation. We have university president, large, small, private, public, trying to deal with this problem. You, you, you know that if you have a society which is secret, which from all outward appearances is uh, incredibly positive, these brothers signed a pledged that if they were caught drinking, they would be expelled. Uh, they had faculty advisors. They had um, a, a beautiful house. They had cameras. There were no external parties. We would have said this was a model fraternity. But if behind closed doors, a group of people are willing to band together, keep something secret, not tell anyone, uh, how is it that universities can manage to deal with a situation like that. It's private property, it's a private house, but I will tell you this, we're not gonna give up until we either solve the problem or shut down every house that's out there. It's a problem, no question, and it's a difficult position for someone in, in your role. However, I think there are a lot of people who are sitting there and thinking, wait a minute, the university's just turned a blind eye. They know what really goes on in these fraternities and they allow it. Okay, so um, we have been working on this for more than a decade. Uh, we began with a lot of educational programs, then mandatory educational programs, then response programs if, if we had uh, an incident. Then we worked on team approaches to get everybody involved, all the partners involved. Then we go to a task force that looks at mechanisms where we can see something happening ahead of time, mm. but the only real tool we have in the toolbox is to take away the recognition for house, because you have to remember that it's private property, it's a private house, it's privately managed, yes. it has a national organization that is involved there, it has alumni boards that are there, and the only tool that Penn State has to be effective is to say you're no longer a student organization. And I should mention, sir, that Penn State has done that with regard to Beta Theta Pi, which is the fraternity in question here. I'm sorry I have Beta. to, I, I, I'm sorry I have to yep. j let you go here. We're out of time, but I, I do appreciate you coming on and sharing your perspective. Okay, just one last thing. Beta will never be back at Penn State, never. President Eric Barron of Penn State, thank you. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.